Hello again, my fellow pilots and aircraft maintenance personnel. Your host is always Haysam Ali and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Welcome to my aviation nuggets for today. Today, we will speak for short minutes regarding the Airbus A320 ABU fuel system, auxiliary power unit fuel system. Okay. You know that we are having an auxiliary power unit at the tail cone of the aircraft in the unpressurized area to allow the aircraft to be independent from ground carts. The ABU will supply the aircraft with bleed source and with electric source. Also, the ABU can supply the aircraft with electric source up to the ceiling of the aircraft. And for the bleed source or bleed, the ABU can supply the aircraft with bleed up to certain level, up to certain altitude. For example, if the ABU is an ABIC, you know that the Airbus A320 has an ABU ABIC, Auxiliary Power International Corporation ABU, UPS 3200. For this ABU, bleed demand can be satisfied from the ABU up to level flight to zero zero. Another ABU, which is the Honeywell, can supply the aircraft with bleed up to flight level 225, 22,500 feet. Okay, so the ABU as the main aircraft engine need fuel supply from the aircraft fuel system. Okay, so as you can see here, we are having the center tank of the A320 and the left hand wing tank left hand wing tank this is why because you know fuel for abu operation is supplied from the left hand side from the left hand side fuel feed system this is a cross feed valve any duct or any tube on the left of this cross feed valve is considered the left side so mainly the abu is supplied by wing tank pump you know that the wing tank has two centrifugal booster pump if they are operated and they are satisfy pressure so that the wing tank pump left wing tank pump will supply the abu like this like this up to the fuel control unit on the abu accessory gearbox okay so you can see here a booster bump. What about this booster bump? Yes, it is the ABU fuel bump. ABU fuel bump. Do the ABU has its own bump? Yes. The ABU has one single phase booster bump. But you know, this bump is not the main supply bump for the ABU. As I mentioned before, the wing tank booster bump is the main supply bump. Wing tank booster bump is the main supply bump. If they are operating and they fulfill the pressure in the line so that they have priority. So when this bump, ABU fuel bump, will operate, only if the wing tank fuel bump are not satisfied or aircraft booster bump are not satisfied, the required pressure okay so who decides the operation of the abu fuel bump this pressure switch or pressure sensor as you can see here this is the abu fuel pressure switch this switch or this sensor always monitor the pressure of the fuel in the line and if the pressure of the fuel drop uh, and is not satisfied by the wing tank booster bump, this pressure sensor give the control, control lay logic, okay? And the ABU booster bump will operate. Okay, everybody. So, as you can see here, you can uh, very uh, satisfied to say that the ABU is take fuel from the left hand collector cell. Left hand collector cell. Okay, so fuel is supplied to the ABU through ABU low pressure valve. ABU low pressure valve. This valve is operating 
by two electric motors two electric motors this ABU low pressure valve will open with the master switch master switch when you press master switch okay the bump may operate according to the pressure in the line and the low pressure valve will open and the low pressure valve will open okay everybody so this is the line to feed the ABU by the way this line is shrouded in case of any fuel leak this uh, leaked fuel will go outside the aircraft from the drain mast okay in the line just uh, in the ABU compartment we are having fuel control unit and on the fuel control unit we are having another two components which is the ABU low pressure switch and the fuel drain vent valve fuel drain vent valve okay so what is the function of this ABU low pressure switch ABU low pressure switch this switch has a function that it will indicate on the ECAM ABU page fuel low pressure message fuel low pressure message so when this message will come if the ABU speed is more than 7% and the pressure of the fuel in the line is reduced less than 15.8 BSI 15.8 BSI less than 15.8 BSI and the speed of the ABU more than 7% so this ABU low pressure switch will indicate on the ECAM ABU ECAM page fuel low pressure okay so you said that less than 15.8 it will indicate fuel low pressure so what about the pressure normal pressure in the line this ABU bump will operate if the pressure in the line reduced to 21.7 BSI and the ABU low ABU booster bump will stop when the wing tank bump full uh, when the wing tank bump are operating and satisfy almost 23.8 or 0.7 we can say that 24 BSI 24 BSI so normally the pressure in the line is like 24 BSI or 21 BSI okay so that fuel is going like this and at the entering of the fuel control unit if the pressure of the fuel reduced to 15.8 BSI and the ABU are operating at 7% RPM and more so that it is an honest bid operation so this ABU low pressure switch will indicate on the ECAM ABU sorry it will indicate on the ECAM fuel low pressure fuel low pressure okay everybody so what about this fuel drain vent valve fuel drain vent valve this valve will open and a tool will be underneath this valve in case of ABU fuel line burge operation burge operation from the ABU compartment at the forward front wall we are having a switch which is called vent fuel vent push button switch if this push button switch is pressed and held or press and keep pressing this switch on ground will operate the ABU bump and open the low pressure valve in order to burge the line from this fuel drain vent valve it will open it will open this valve must be open to drain fuel and vent air this is for maintenance operation to burge the ABU fuel supply line again to burge the ABU fuel supply line so that the fuel drain vent valve need to be opened when we press and hold on the fuel vent line push button switch to burge the ABU fuel supply line okay you know that this fuel supply line are coming from the center tank as you can see this component are located on the rear spar of the center tank up to the tail cone of the aircraft until the ABU fuel control unit okay so we speak everybody that this abu low pressure valve is opening with the master switch abu master switch during abu start and also it can be opened 
by press and hold for maintenance on the fuel vent push button switch. So when this valve will be automatically close, the ABU low pressure valve, we are having several scenario that this ABU low pressure valve will be closed. The first one, during normal shutdown, if you press on the master switch, ABU shut down, so that the low pressure valve will close to shut off fuel to the ABU. Okay, so master switch on and shut down function from the ECB, from the ECB. Okay, so what other uh, scenario that this ABU low pressure valve will close? We speak about normal shutdown by pressing on the master switch to shut down the ABU. In case of normal shutdown, the ABU will not close or shut down immediately. It will have like cool down cycle, two minutes of cool down cycle. If the ABU is operating and the bleed load demand are being used from the ABU, cool down cycle are always coming. If the ABU is operating and the bleed load demand is taken from the ABU, okay. This ABU low pressure valve also close abnormally in abnormal situation like fire situation when you release the ABU fire push button when you release the ABU fire push button it will close this valve and the ABU will shut down for emergency situation it is called emergency shutdown in that case no cool down cycle will happen even if the ABU is operating with a bleed load demand on it okay what other scenario will close this ABU low pressure valve if you press and hold on this switch and then you release this fuel vent push button switch, it will close the ABU low pressure valve. Also from ground, from external power panel, if you press on the ABU shut off push button from the external power panel, from the external power panel, ABU shut off will uh, allows the ABU to have an emergency shutdown and close immediately so that this low pressure valve will also close during emergency shutdown from the external power panel. Last also, the last scenario that this low pressure valve will close during automatic shutdown or protective shutdowns. This automatic shutdown or protective shutdown are initiated by the ECB to close and to, to shut off the ABU in case of parameter out of limit scenarios to protect the ABU. You know that protective shutdown or automatic shutdown are in many cases on ground because the ABU is an unattended operation engine. You as a pilot or you as a maintenance personnel can operate the ABU and leave the cockpit and go out. So that in that case, the, AC, the ECB, electronic control box of the ABU, will monitor the ABU operation. And if any parameter is going out of limit, it will shut down the ABU immediately without any cool down cycle. Okay. This is called automatic shutdowns or protective shutdown. They are many on ground and they are less in flight based on regulation. So again, automatic shutdowns or protective shutdowns are many on ground and they are much more less in flight based on regulation. Okay, so as a summary, you need to remember that the main supply tank for the ABU is the left tank from the left hand collector cell. The main supply bump for the ABU is the wing tank bump, not the ABU bump. If they are satisfied the pressure, they will operate and the ABU bump will not operate. If the wing tank bump are not satisfying the pressure, the ABU booster bump will operate. If this cross-feed valve at any time is opening everybody or opened, so that the right hand system and the left hand system can supply the ABU, can supply the ABU. The fuel control unit is located on the accessory gearbox of the ABU, of the ABU.
Okay, everybody, thank you for your good, good listening. And always fly safely and maintain your aircraft very safely. Please stay tuned for an upcoming sessions like this. I will post like these sessions uh, regularly to enhance your awareness regarding the Airbus A320 operation for my fellow pilots and aircraft maintenance personnel. Thank you and goodbye.